how do you thicken text in Illustrator when you don't have the font? Maybe a client has asked you to thicken some text in a logo and all you've got is the outlines. You just need to thicken it so it looks a little bit bolder. And then how do you supply the finished vector artwork to the client? Watch this tutorial till the end and then you'll see how you turn text to outlines um, if you need to thicken text and you only have the font in one weight, you don't have any bolder weights. And so I show you how to do that as well. Now, a client has asked me to, in his own words, beef up this logo. It's a very attractive looking logo, but it's very fine. The text is very thin and fine, and he wants it just bolded up a bit. So uh, we all know how to bold up something that is typed out like this, a font, and it's in Nexalite. And also, all we have to do is see how many weights we can find of that font and see if we can put it in a bolder font. But the logo itself, of course isn't a font it is created in vectors and it has been created by someone I dare say all they've done is probably used this font here and just taken out some of the ascenders and descenders but what do we do to thicken it up well I'll show you and the obvious way of doing it is just increasing the stroke but it's not quite that simple if you want to create a professional logo in Illustrator so I'll show you how to increase the stroke of course select all the elements that you want to increase the stroke of and go window stroke to view the stroke palette by the way if you don't know what a stroke is the stroke is the edge of the illustrator element actually it's probably better if I just show you so let's zoom in to the logo and what you can do to create a stroke with the same color as the fill is just drag the color of the fill from the fill down to the stroke at the bottom of the toolbar there and there you'll see immediately it's given the element a one point stroke so it's gone all the way around the edges. You really want to pay attention to these icons here because, for example, if you have that one clicked, then it would have rounded edges to the corners. And because of the, the way the font is, we certainly don't want that. And of course, you can also get the stroke to a line on the outside, so it'll be much thicker. If you line it on the inside, it won't make any difference. That will only make a difference if there was no fill or the fill was in a different color. But let's put it back to align the stroke to the center of the path so actually in effect that gives it a half point stroke but the actual number isn't that relevant what we want to look at is the actual logo go command Z and just look at it a few times with and without the stroke and see if you prefer it that way and then of course if you wanted to increase it then you would just increase this number here let's have a look at two point which in effect is, is going to be one point so it's still looking quite good. Um, I would go back to that one point stroke maybe, but that isn't all you want to do because if you look at the outlines of the vector, command Y, it's still the same as it used to be, that fine type. That can cause problems increasing and decreasing in size the logo because it might not decrease and increase the stroke size proportionately. So it's always better to provide the outlines to the client. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's just put it back to one point because I preferred it like that. And as you can see, you know, we want the paths to go outside the stroke. We don't want to provide the artwork with stroke. So what we do is we go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. And there you can see that there is a path on the edge. Problem is there are paths everywhere as well. So we don't want that. That's too confusing. So what we do is go to Pathfinder and click this one, Merge. And that gets rid of all the paths that you don't need. So you can just provide the client with the logo as you want it. And there'll be no problems if anyone then subsequently increases or decreases it in size. It will always have the same thickness proportionately. Now, just quickly, if you wanted to do the same to this and you didn't have the font, what do you do? You go type 
create outlines and then you do it again. You put the stroke and you work out how much you want to thicken that text up as well and go through the process of merging the paths like I just showed you. I hope that helped. That's how to thicken text or even bolden text in Illustrator when you don't have the bold font. My name's Rob Cubbon. I'll see you in another video.